Bubbly bears say hello to winter. I am glad it's winter time, winter time, winter time. I am glad it's winter time, a cold time of the year. Who do we see right here? You see a snowman. We wear coats in the winter. There's a snowflake. You have hats. Some people go ice skating, mittens, there's gloves, and there are boots. This week, we're going to be talking more about winter. Remember, we have four seasons, winter, spring, summer, fall. Every season, something happens that's different from the next season. Remember in the wintertime, what happened to all the leaves? They go bye-bye. They're bare. Remember, there are no leaves on the trees. As I like to say, they're naked, waiting to make new clothes. So let's read snow. Let's go. Snow, let's go. Let's read the story real quick as we continue to talk about winter. Snow has fallen. Even though we live in North Carolina, in Rose Hill, North Carolina, we don't get a lot of snow the season is still winter. Time to play. Oh, she's ready to go outside to play. What will I wear to keep warm all day? Do you think she'll wear some of the things we talked about? Hats, gloves, scarves maybe, toboggan, mittens? First, my sweater goes over my head. Sweater. I'm wearing a sweater today, boys and girls, because it's cold outside. Now, woolly socks. Nice, thick socks and pants bright red. She is putting on her snowsuit so she can be snug and warm when she goes out. And there on top is her snowsuit. Everybody sees that? Wow, look at her. She looks like she's ready to go outside. Then my cap. We like to call that a toboggan. Some people might call that a hat. Here's my scarf, wrap, wrap, wrap. It protects your neck area. Boots, two mittens, and one more thing. What's missing? What do you think? <gasps> Please, Mom, push me through the door. She has on so many things that she needs help getting outside. So, boys and girls, you saw all those things in there that she got as she got ready to prepare to go outside. Remember... We like to stay snug and warm, and we like to go outside. So your first activity we're going to talk about is inside or outside. Inside or outside. You see a bear that says, it's cold outside, and there's another. It's warm inside. You see a snowman, a fireplace, hot chocolate, a snowflake. Looks like a great pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie there. Icicles, someone's ice skating, and someone's sitting in a chair. You're going to color those pictures, and you're going to sort. Remember, we separate. If it's cold, it's going on this side. If it's warm, it's going inside the house. Warm or cold, inside or outside. And it looks like that. Most of the things that are outside, you don't need to color because it's already made of white. It's snow, ice. They're white in color. So quality work, everybody. Now, the little girl just said, snow, let's go. So she went outside, didn't she? But she had to be prepared. So now, this little boy wants to know, how will I keep warm in winter? And you're going to label him. You have a warm hat, a scarf, dry boots, a warm coat, mittens, hot cocoa, and snow pants. You're going to look at those things and put them exactly where they belong. I can see the hot chocolate or cocoa in his hand. There's his boots right there. So when you're finished, it looks like this. Warm coat, warm hat, mittens, snow pants, dry boots. Quality at its best, boys and girls. Make sure you cut those words out and label the snow kid. All right? All right. So now let's read this quick book about snowflakes. No two snowflakes are the same, just like no two people are the same. Millions of snowflakes. Millions of snowflakes. Let's see the story. One little snowflake falls on my nose. It makes me shiver from my head to my toes. Two little snowflakes, they get in my eyes. This is a counting book also, boys and girls. Blink, blink. What a surprise. 
Eyes, surprise, also rhyming words with the snowflake story. Three little snowflakes melt on my tongue. I eat them up. Yum, yum, yum. Four little snowflakes tickle my chin. I laugh. I jump. This child's having fun outside with the snow, isn't she? I run. I spin. I stop and I put out my hand. She's going to try to catch a snowflake, I think. <gasps> five little snowflakes softly land. One, two, three, four, five snowflakes. Snow on the house. Snow on the tree. Snow on the ground. Snow on me. And she's made a snow angel there. Millions of snowflakes in my hair. Snowflakes falling everywhere. So when it snows, there's always a snowflake coming down. Good job. Now, boys and girls, who needs a coat? We're going to put this book together. Who needs a coat? That's the title. The squirrel needs a fuzzy coat. The moose needs a warm coat. Says winter is coming. The fox needs a cozy coat. Mm, needs a fuzzy, warm, cozy coat. Who are they talking about? They're talking about you. That's exactly right. Now, why are the coats on the animals? Where do they get a coat from? Do they go to the store like we do to buy a coat? Let's think about that. Do they? No. Their coats are their bodies. That's exactly right. Squirrel has a fuzzy coat. That moose, warm coat. So down here, this animal right here has a cut fox with a cozy coat. And then it says winter is coming. You got to make this look like you. This is page three, boys and girls. You're going to put this book in the right order. And when you finish, it's going to look something like this. Who needs a coat? And you can see where it's nicely done and colored. And at the end, this says, Mrs. Brown needs a fuzzy, warm, cozy coat. And there's a picture of me. All right, good job. Now, last thing we're going to do for winter activity is from snowball to puddle. So snow falls, but then it also melts. Is that right? So let's take a look. Sequencing means put it in the right order. You have these four pictures here. You see the snow is melting. You see there's a snowball. You see there's nothing left. And you see it starts to, it's melting more. Is that in the right order? Absolutely not. That's not how we tell a story. But you're going to color this bear, and you're going to sequence in the right order. First, he builds a snowball, right? He puts it in its hand, it starts to melt, it melts a little more, and it's all gone. That makes sense. So it should look like that when you're done. Everybody sees that? From snowball to puddle. I hope you enjoy these winter activities as we'll be talking more about signs of winter when we're on our Google Meet. Happy winter.